and date. I mean, I'm single. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. How do my boots look? Are yeah. you driving a nice car these days, or? You were supposed to stay back there. This is what we're doing right here. I think she's prejudiced against me. This is all of the art and prejudice. That's what I'm gonna assume. Oh, yeah. What do you do here? Uh, environment art. Environment? Yes. Does that mean you recycle? Are you married? <laughs> yeah, I'm married. Basically, uh, uh, construct the initial layout of a level, uh, like block out, prototyping and whatnot. Just iterate and see if it's, if it's fun. And um, if it is, then we can choose. Translation? I play video games. It's, it's, it's kind of... Well, going into Prejudice, we really wanted to build up a, a sort of better fiction or a better universe around sort of the conflict that's going on between Section 8 and the Arm of Orion. We kind of touched on it a little bit with the Section 8 uh, campaign called Cord Story, and that had given a little bit of the basics, but it was just sort of the, the tip of the spear. And so with Prejudice, we wanted to build that up to just a much better narrative, a much better universe. And that's kind of how we approached the campaign. I'm here with Robert. Who you are? Here's the bathroom. Hello. And Time Gate. Hello, Robert. How are you? Doing good. Is everything in my teeth? I don't know. I think you're doing good. Just a little, right? Yeah. When you say prejudice... Prejudice is, is the root of all conflict. You know, every, every war that's been fought, it's either been because, you know, uh, politically two sides, you know, are prejudiced against each other. Uh, religion, resources, um, you know, your ex-boyfriend. Every everything has has been a conflict, and, uh, and and prejudice has been the root of it. Uh, and this war, this this war between these two factions, is no different. Granted, on a grander scale than boyfriend versus girlfriend. You start to learn about um, why the armor Orion sort of started this little insurrection and what sort of is the burning motivation for them. It comes down a lot of it to prejudice. It's this hatred. It's this sort of unabashed just you know, despising of someone at their very core. And that winds up as what's driving them on this, it's not really a crusade, but it really does drive them to great extremes in terms of they're willing to go out and attack innocent civilians and attack the, uh, sort of the, the mighty Earth Empire directly and in a chance to get revenge. When will you be 21? What prompted the development team to expand the universe after the first Section 8? We knew that we wanted to get a, an interesting and compelling villain into the game. And we'd always had this concept of, of uh, this lost fleet. This group of guys that, that went out there that they haven't been heard of in a while and they were the best of the best. And that ultimately turned into the, the enemy that we crafted for Prejudice. Um, and these guys are more or less Section 8's equal. So it's much, much longer than the campaign and much more involved than the one we had in Section 8. And some of the great moments that we have in the Prejudice campaign I think are really going to you know, surprise people on um, what we've done. For example, there's this one part where Cord and his men are attacking this huge armed base. It's, it's in the middle of a, an air raid. There's bombs going off all around them. You're having to call in orbital support while a ton of enemy soldiers are dropping in all around you. And this is this epic sci-fi battle where just chaos is erupting all around you and you're kind of caught up in the middle of it. And it's this, you know, just incredible uh, experience that we've created. And we've got moments like that throughout the entire campaign that we think people will just love. Oh, uh, so listen, um, you know what you're doing after this? I mean, probably nothing because it's Friday and you're at work. But I was going to, um, I don't know how I would to put this because um, I didn't talk for it because... Come on. Joy. Hey. You got to go. I can't hear you. So, are you serious? No chewing gum. We cannot chew gum during the interview. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try for Tom. 
and if that doesn't work, then I'm going to go for Keith. The winner of a dream date with uh, Joy is uh, going to...